Yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Uh, here with Bad Boy 95, the Hobie 16, uh, going out solo, and I'm reliably informed it's a solid 25 knots. Oh! <laughs> uh, on the outside, so just gonna talk you through everything that I'm doing. Okay, so I've just recruited the help of Nick. Uh, because I didn't put the main sheet on before putting the boat in the water. And in this sort of wind, you don't want to be going to the back of the boat um, with nothing holding it at the front because uh, she'll just try, to, well, she won't even try. She actually will just start sailing away from you, which uh, can be seen as uh, difficult. All right, so just putting the main sheet on there. All right, nice. Okay, making sure the traveler's loose. That's gonna help. Holding onto the boat at the bow, trying to keep in reasonably shallow water uh, because if we go too deep, it's gonna be very difficult to hold the boat, especially solo with a reasonable amount of wind. Okay, well, I'm almost ready to get on. All right, and I'm getting on. Oh, grabbing the stick, poking her up into the wind, just because we don't want to go zooming away too quickly. And in fact, I'm just going to have to do a little bit of ferry gliding. That's kind of sliding the boat sideways so I've got the sails loose, tiller is right across, um, which means every time we start moving forwards, it just heads up into the wind and it just gets us a bit of distance away from that Hobie Tiger, which we really don't want to go into. All right. So now just moving forwards. And what I want to do, we're going to need to put a lot of downhaul on, but what I want to do before I stop is uh, just to get into a bit of space and it looks like there's a bit of space just here so I'm going to head her up into the wind. All right, go grab the downhaul and really pulling on as much as I can. All right, there, there she is. That is downhaul engaged. All right, go let the jib off a bit. Yeah, it feels as windy as they said it was. So I'm gonna go downwind to start with. Try not to stick the nose in, so I'm letting the jib off a bit more. Um, when you're going downwind like this, it isn't any more difficult than sailing two up, apart from the fact that no one's got constant control on the jib, because you haven't got anyone sat further forwards from you, which means there's, there's not more weight at the front of the boat, which kind of helps. Okay, and we do, that was a fairly crew, let's call that a fairly soft downwind leg, which now means that we don't have to sail on a reach straight away, because the reach is gonna be the most volatile point of sail. Okay, at this point in the game, I'm gonna start the water speed app. Okay, just hitting the button that says sailing, and off we go. Uh, it's nice to know how fast you've gone, how fast you were going, and how fast you could have gone. All right, so before I get any power on, just hooking in already, I've got the traveler all the way out, because it is that windy. Um, gonna bring a little bit of jib in, leaving the jib sheets close to the edge of the boat. All right, and now I'm just gonna extend out onto the trapeze. Okay, and we're off. Okay, so we're kind of upwind, close reach, and yes, it is very windy indeed. Uh, it's definitely 25 knots out here. Um, so I'm feeling very powered. Um, yeah, I certainly wouldn't want the uh, the traveller on the main in any tighter than it is already. All 
All right, yeah, so out here, I'm just doing a little bit of steering and a little bit of sheeting to control the power. You can see I've got almost all of the jib flapping. It's just that the sort of bottom back corner which has actually got any sort of power in it. Because if we get the big gust, which I'm sure uh, is out here, if we get the big gust, the jib will pull us over on its own uh, easy. So uh, we don't want that to happen. Sheeting in a bit there, looking forwards, looking for the gusts. Big one about to get us. So I might have to head up a little bit into that gust. Maybe, of course, cool, that is a big one. Spreading my legs for stability on the trapeze because it's going to get a little bit feisty. Uh, so I believe. All right. Right, you're not going to have to do this if you were doing this, but just angling the camera that I've got at the back of the boat a little bit. All right, I'm a little bit concerned about having to bear away. So I think if we bear away and it all gets a little bit special, I'm going to head up again. Okay, bearing away. Here we go. Bit of a gust there. Really eased on the main sheet. Okay, so I've got the main sheet quite well out. Bit of a hole vent. Juicy old gust coming up. But I'm having to sail a little bit low. Uh, you may think, aren't you a bit too close to the back of the boat? Uh, perhaps, yes. But perhaps I just want to be locked in. Uh, so that I've got maximum stability here. All right, yeah, that is a lot of wind. We've got Phil, the photographer from Protography, on board there. Just gonna see if I can pick this up a little bit. Woo! Okay. Just a little bit. All right, I'm going to move forwards now and go upwind again. We've got a bit more space, a bit less traffic. When it gets windy like this here in Vasiliki Bay, uh, we do get a lot of wind surfers out, uh, which does uh, make the mo more upwind section of the bay a bit congested. Fly in the hole. That's what they said. Okay, so I think to make this a complete demonstration, we're going to want to do at least one jibe and one tack. Whew. It's going to be exciting. All right, so what I'm going to do is go for... No, I'm not. We're just going to hold because the traffic is closing in a little bit. Yeah, sometimes it is too windy to go fast because uh, you need to have a bit of confidence if you're gonna go full send. And uh, this wind is that strong that it's taken a bit of my confidence. God, that is a juicy gust with a bit of a shift, which is taking us in to, I like to call it, there's a cock in the hen house when there's a catamaran amongst the wind surfers. All right, just trying to keep it poked high just for this guy. All right, poked. And going to take her off downwind here. There is another 16 there, but I think we'll be okay. Putting the main sheet around my front leg so that it stays out of the way of the rudder. All right, we are going to go for a send here, by the way. Uh, change to the advertised route plan. Lovely flat water up here. A uh, bit of a hole and then we've got a gust coming up. So let's see what sort of numbers we can hit here with telemetry overlay and uh, water speed. Feels pretty quick. Let's try and keep the main sheet under control. So I've got plenty to dump when the time comes. Oh, 
cheating in. Whoa, that's a lot of wind. All right. Oh, my days. Okay, I think I'm going to stop just there. Uh, that's called quitting while you're ahead. All right, big gust there and the main sheet's cleated. So I'm just going to head up a bit. All right, so we're going to go for a tack. I'm just going to get hold of the jib sheet. I think we've got quite a lot in the water there. Yeah. All right. And we can calm it down just by heading up. Uh, we don't want to spend too much time at the back of the boat because we might capsize backwards because of the curved trampoline on here. And to get a bit more of a successful tack, we're going to bring the traveller into the toe strap. All right. So what I'm going to do is sheet in hard and we might go three point turn or we might do a nice one. But as soon as we head to wind, I'll know. So into the wind. Jib's backed. Yeah, it's a three point turn. There is the mother of all gusts coming. So just want to. Oh, oh my word. Yeah, that was a bit of a lull there during that tack, which made that gust seem bigger than previously. All right, but we got the tack there. Nice. And we're going to go for another one. And we'll go for this next one during a big gust, just to see what we can do with it. All right. So this gust looks pretty chunky. Crikey. How are we going to do this? All right, we've been headed there massively. All right, main sheet's gone out. Yes, we all make mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this is proving to be of some value. Okay, nice bit of wind, sheeted in, jib backed, going to the other side, getting the jib off, don't even need to be anywhere near the rudders. All right, let's get uh, the Melcheski Pro Joyrider back in their hands. All right, and we made it, trapeze wires in the way. All right, so let's let that off. All right, so now we've done the tack. It's time to go for the jibe. So I'm going to pull the jib traveler out. Just have a little bit of jib on. And we're going to take her off downwind. But I'm going to leave the traveler where it is. Because that's going to help the main to go across a bit earlier. Right, sheeting out the jib. All right, not doing anything with the jib before the jibe. Yeah, it's not the biggest gust, but we're going to have to go. All right, uncleating the main and pushing it in hard, straightening up, and there we go. So confidence is essential um, to the habitual voyeur of all that's known as high wind gust. All right, bring her up towards the wind. Need to recover the jib sheet. Got a bit of a jambalaya of strings, ropes there at the front of the boat, taking the jib sheet to the edge. Gonna let the traveller off again. And now we could get hooked on and see what she's got on this tack. All right. It is windy, honestly. I know that jibe didn't seem quite as windy as advertised, but uh, because it wasn't. Um, but here we are back in the thick of it. All right, let's try and let a bit of jib out there. And I'm gonna get into my position that gives me a bit of reassurance that I'm not gonna fall off the boat, uh, especially as we come off the wind a bit. We are gonna to have to come off the wind a bit uh, just to stay out of the traffic. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Am I heavy enough? About 90 kilos which might not be enough. So I'm sheeting in whenever I can, sheeting out uh, more of the time than that. All right, bit of a hole coming up. I can see a flat spot on the water. So I'm bracing, yeah, for that, because the boat suddenly slows down. There is some monster gusts coming up. Might have a wind shift attached to it as well. So I'm even more braced with a wide stance on the trapeze. All right. There we go. I'm bringing her down a bit, because that was a bit of a wind shift, bit of a header. And uh, 
just play in the main sheet, in and out, uh, quite often, almost all the time. Oh, you're probably getting a good close-up of the main sheet on the, uh, the rudder cam, which is nice. Yeah, wind's gone a little bit offshore here, so a bit more upwind once we get this next gust. Yeah, I might move forwards a bit. Oh! <laughs> All right, yeah, should have moved forwards a bit before that gust, because we popped a mean old wheelie there. Crikey, yeah, that is plenty of wind there in that gust. Oh no, rudder cam has flopped. So you're probably getting a good look at the leech of the mainsail now. Um, that is why we carry multiple cameras. Okay, so next gust coming up. Jib is flapping like an old goose. Uh, yeah, we just don't want that power because even with the traveler out and the main sheet eased a bit, we've still got a tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, all right, if we could have a bit less wind, could go for a bit of a send just to see if she's got one. I'm a little bit apprehensive about the send, but you know, you've got to do these things. Oh, crikey, got to be very quick on the main sheet, taking her off the wind in this with uh, just my, my slight frame on the trapeze. So send, uh, not a very sendy send. I don't expect the numbers to be much more than like 16 knots. Uh, <laughs> By the way, if you're thinking those are rather delightful looking sails you got there, uh, which are mostly flapping, uh, these are from Whirlwind Sails, San Diego, California, USA. And uh, yes, they are very nice sails. So it does feel bad taking them out for a flog like this but uh, we've got to do what we've got to do. And you may be thinking, that is a delightful orange trampoline you've got on there, Joe. Yes, that's right, it's from Salt City Sailing. The best value trampoline probably on the planet. Um, there might be another one out there, who knows, but as far as I'm concerned, what I've found is very good value trampoline. There, all right. Okay. So we just, it does feel like we're battling quite hard here. Crikey. Um, I tell you what, if we didn't have this crystal clear audio from Instamic, it would sound a lot windier than it does, uh, perhaps. Our next gust coming, and she's, she's a big one, spreading the feet apart for better balance. And uh, yeah, I'd have to say I'm not, really bullying and dominating the craft here. I do feel like she's trying to buck me off. Uh, she just wants me off the boat. Crikey. All right, and I'm gonna come in off the trapeze here, I think, because uh, we're coming up to a bit of traffic and uh, good idea to take it easy when you've got this sort of traffic and these moored yachts and everything. So in fact, I'm gonna let the jib off a bit more and I'm gonna go around the back of the majority of these moored yachts. So I'm gonna get right to the back of the boat for a bit of downwind, really lever those bows up. And uh, yeah, if you've got the choice, especially when it's, woohoo! All right, when it's so windy and you might just stick the nose in at any time. Um, if you've got the choice to go in front of boats or behind them, like this sort of situation, go behind because if you capsize, you'll get blown away from them. Whereas if you go in front and you capsize or perhaps you lose your rudder or your crew or your whatever, 
then you'll get blown onto those moored boats, which could be a very spicy situation. All right, the spray is evil in my eyes. Where are my sun gods? That is the question. All right, so we've gone behind all these boats, so I'm just gonna bring her up a little bit there. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, we are gonna cheat a little bit, uh, which is when we get close to the beach, I'm gonna um, put the boat on a mooring so that I can drop the mainsail, um, which probably in the real world, you wouldn't have that facility. Uh, so in the real world, what I'd do is uh, I'd just put the, pull the front of the boat up onto the beach. Hopefully it's not a, a really horrible rocky beach. Like if it's a grassy bank or a sandy beach or a beach with small stones, you could just pull the front of the boat up, get the mainsail down and uh, then get your, uh, your beach wheels or launching trolley so that you can get the boat out of the water. Right, so as we're getting closer, I'm gonna completely release the downhaul. That means when we sheet out, the mainsail won't have any power in it. Gonna completely release the jib. You may say, oh, well, I thought it was pretty released the whole time, actually. Uh, well, you're probably right. Um, so I'm gonna have to take her just off the wind a little bit. so I can get really close to the beach before I jump off. Again, the shallower the water is, the easier it's gonna to be to hold the boat. So I'm coming in really close. Still got the rudders down, that's all right. All right, and I think that's the spot just there. All right, and we've done it. Okay, so there we go. That's how I just did that. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon with some more on Joyrider TV. Woohoo! Oh, me rudders!